the domain of the function f of x is equal to under root of x square minus step x whole square where this step x denote the greatest integer less than or equals to x and this function is defined only when x square minus step x whole square is greater than or equals to 0 that is x square is greater than or equals to step x whole square and here if we see the integer for every x belongs to z we can say x square is greater than or equals to step x whole square but for x is a non integer let us consider x is positive so we get x square is greater than step x square but for x is less than 0 we will get x square is less than step x square for example when x is equal to 2.5 2.5 whole square is greater than step of 2.5 whole square that is 6.25 is greater than step of 2.5 is 2 2 square is 4 so if for every real positive real number it is satisfying but for negative real number x is equal to 2 point for negative 2.5 for x is equal to negative 2.5 so we can write minus 2.5 whole square and here negative 2.5 step whole square so negative 2.5 whole square is 6.25 and negative 2.5 step value is negative 3 whole square is 9 so 6.25 is less than 9 so we are getting inequality less than which implies that x square minus step x whole square is less than 0 so less than 0 means the function is not defined for negative real numbers other than integers so if you can see the options among the options the function is defined for all all integers and positive real numbers but not defined for the non integers in negative so you can go with an option d If x is a real number, then x upon x square minus 5x plus 9 must lie between. Means we need to find the range of this function. So let us assume let y is equal to x upon x square minus 5x plus 9. So by cross multiplication, y times of x square minus 5x plus 9 is equal to x, or we can write x is y x square minus x times of 5 x y plus 9 y minus x is equal to 0 or we can add y times x square minus 5 y plus 1 of x plus 9 y is equal to 0 since x is a real number so we can say that the discriminant can be greater than or equals to 0 so let us find its discriminant b square minus 4 is a so minus of 5 y plus 1 whole square minus 4 into y into c value is 9 y is greater than or equals to 0 so we can write 5y plus 1 whole square that is 25y square plus 1 plus 10y minus 36y square is greater than or equals to 0. So 25 minus 36 is minus 9 sorry minus 11 minus 11y square and again here 10y plus 10y. plus y is greater than or equals to 0 or we can write 11 y square minus 10 y minus 1 is less than or equals to 0 so here we can do factorization 
so minus 11 y plus y minus 1 is less than or equals to 0 11 y taken common so y minus 1 plus 1 times of y minus 1 is less than or equals to 0 so here we can write 11 y plus 1 into y minus 1 is less than or equals to 0 so we can apply here by taking the values y is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 1 by 11 so here it gives minus 1 by 11 and here it is 1 and it is less than or equals to 0 the solution will be lying in between so if we can take the curve a v curve so we can say the solution is lying between minus 1 by 11 and 1 so we can say the range of this function or y belongs to minus 1 by 11 comma 1 so we can go with an option fourth option d option you can see we need to find the period of the function f of x is equal to mod of sin x minus mod of cos x and here we can say that period of period of the function sin x is 2 pi and mod of sin x is pi similarly period of mod cos x is pi so here mod sin x minus mod cos x so the lcm of pi and pi is pi so the period of this function period of f of x is either pi or we can have sub multiples of pi let us consider its multiple among the options pi by 2 and check f of x plus pi by 2 is equal to mod of sin of x plus pi by 2 minus mod of cos of x plus pi by 2 so sin of x plus pi by 2 will be taken as cos x and again minus cos of pi by 2 plus x we can take it as negative sin x so we can write mod of cos x minus mod of negative sin x can be taken mod sin x so which is not equals to f of x and hence we can say that this pi by 2 is not a period and hence we can conclude that period of f of x is pi so we can go with an option pi and even we can verify with option f of x plus pi is equal to mod of sin x plus pi minus mod of cos x plus pi which is equal to mod of sin pi plus x is negative sin x and mod of x plus pi is again negative cos x which can be taken as negative sin x mod is also mod sin x minus negative of mod minus cos x can be taken cos x which is the same as a function f of x when f of x plus pi is equal to f of x we can say this pi is a period so option b is correct given e power x plus e to the power f of x is equal to e and we need to find the domain of the function so here we can write e to the power f of x is equal to e minus e power x or we can also write e to the power f of x is equal to or applying log on both the sides log e minus e power x that is f of x into log e to the base e here the base is e considered which is equal to log of e minus e power x that is f of x into log e to the base e value is 1 so f of x is equal to log e minus e power x so according to the property of logarithm this e minus e power x this log of e minus e power x is defined for e minus e power x must be positive that is e is greater than e power x or e power x is less than e or e power 1 we can say then we can since e is positive since e is positive so we can say x is less than 1 
so domain of the function domain of f can be taken as negative infinity to 1 which is option a so here we should remember logarithm function log a to the base b is defined for a is positive and b is positive and b is not equals to 1 so here the base is e so it is always positive so only we have to check for e minus e power x must be positive so we got minus infinity to 1 we need to find the domain of the function f of x is equal to log to the base 2 minus log 1 upon 2 of 1 plus 1 by x power 1 by 4 minus 1 and we know that logarithmic function log x to the base a is defined when x is greater than 0 and a is greater than 0 and a is not equals to 1 so here we can say that since here 2 is greater than 0 so we need to think about log this part must be positive so this function is defined when negative log to the base 1 by 2 1 plus 1 upon x power 1 by 4 minus 1 must be greater than 0 or we can also write log to the base 1 by 2 1 plus 1 upon x power 1 by 4 plus 1 is less than 0 or we can write log to the base 1 by 2 1 plus 1 upon x power 1 by 4 is less than negative 1 so this negative one we can also write minus log 1 by 2 to the base 1 by 2 so i can write here log to the base 1 by 2 1 plus 1 upon x power 1 by 4 is less than log and even this minus 1 we can take to the power here so log 1 by 2 whole power minus 1 to the base 1 by 2 because we know the property log a power m is equal to m into log a and here the base is same and base is less than 1 when log x to the base a is smaller than log y to the base a when a is greater than 1 we can say x is less than y when a is lies between 0 and 1 so we can say that x is great inequality will change so we can write here since base is less than 1 so we can write here 1 plus 1 upon x power 1 by 4 is greater than 1 by 2 whole power minus 1 that is 2 or we can also write this 1 upon x power 1 by 4 plus 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 is greater than 0 or 1 minus x to the power 1 by 4 upon x power 1 by 4 is greater than 0 so x power 1 by 4 or you can consider here all here itself 1 upon x power 1 by 4 is greater than 1 and for any real number so the greater than 1 means we need to consider among the options like you can say x power 1 by 4 is less than 1 so x power 1 by 4 is less than 1 means x is less than fourth power of 1 so x is less than 1 and x should be positive x must be greater than 0 and x must be less than 1 so we can say the domain of the function 0 to 1 so domain of the function we can go with option a 0 to 1 and 1 cannot be equal to 0 1 cannot be included let x and y be two natural numbers such that x y is equal to 12 times of x plus y 
where x is less than or equals to y and the total number of pairs x comma y is so here we can write x y minus 12 x minus 12 y is equal to 0 or adding and subtracting 144 x y minus 12 x minus 12 y so we let us write here plus 144 is equal to 144 so we can do factorization x taken common here y minus 12 minus 12 taken common here y minus 12 is equal to 144 that is x minus 12 into y minus 12 is equals to 144 now we need to see 144 144 we can write Two seventy-two times and again two thirty-six times and two eighteen times and two nine times and three three times. So by using these factors, we can write so one forty-four x minus twelve into y minus twelve is equal to one forty-four. So we may use so one one forty-four times and next two seventy-two times and 3 so we can add 3 here and this is a 16 3s are 48 times and next to 4 2 2s are 4 4 9s are 36 times and again next to 6 we can take 3 2s are 6 and here 8 3s are 24 times and next again 8 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 and here 9 2s are 18 times and then again 9 times 9 so we can write 16 times and again 18 completed next 10 11 12 12 times so 12 12 are 144 so total we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so there are eight possible ways we can express x minus 12 and y minus 12 since x is smaller than y, y x minus 12 must be smaller than or equals to y minus 12 so these are the smaller numbers than this so the possibilities are eight so we can go with an option a and even when x minus 12 is equal to 1 means x is equal to 13 so we can write x is 13 and y is 13 sorry y is equal to 156 so this is how the pairs you will get so 13 and 156 is one pair similarly when x minus 12 is equal to 2 means x is equal to 14 and x minus is nothing but 72 plus 14 that is 84 so 14 comma 84 is another pair similarly you will be getting 18 8 order pairs okay given that a function f of x which is odd and even simultaneously then what is the value of f of 3 minus f of 2 if f is odd function which implies f of negative x is equal to negative f of x and if f is even function So we can write f of negative x negative x is equal to plus f of x. So from this both we can say adding this both here two times of f of negative x is equal to zero, which implies f of negative x is equal to zero, which can also be taken f of x is equal to zero. So when the function which is both odd and even simultaneously our function can be equal to zero function therefore f of f of x is equal to zero this is for every x belongs to r so here f of 3 also will be zero and f of 2 is also zero then f of 3 minus f of 2 is also zero so we can go with an option c find the range of the function f of x is equal to x square minus x plus 1 upon 
x square plus x plus 1 where x is a real number so let us consider which is equal to y so we can write x square minus x plus 1 upon x square plus x plus 1 is equal to y so cross multiplication so we can write x square plus x plus 1 of y is equal to x square minus x plus 1 or we can write x square minus 1 or let us simplify x square into y plus x y plus y minus x square plus x minus 1 is equal to 0 or here we can add y minus 1 of x square and here we can add y plus 1 of x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation in variable x since x is a real number so we can consider delta must be greater than or equals to 0 so here a is equal to y minus 1 b is equal to y plus 1 and c is equal to y minus 1 so delta is b square minus 4ac so we may write b square that is y plus 1 whole square minus 4 times of a minus y minus 1 into y minus 1 is greater than or equals to 0 that is y plus 1 whole square minus 2 times of y minus 1 whole square is equal greater than or equals to 0 so it is just like a square minus b square so we can get a plus b that is y plus 1 plus 2 times of y minus 1 into y plus 1 minus 2 times of y minus 1 is greater than or equals to 0 so this can also be written y plus 1 plus 2y minus 2 and here y plus 1 minus 2y plus 2 is greater than or equals to 0 so that is 3y minus 1 into minus y plus 3 is greater than or equals to 0 or we can also write 3y minus 1 into y minus 3 by taking minus common inequality will change so we can say the factors we can write here 3 and 1 upon 3 so the it is less than 0 so we can use the wavy curve method and you can say the solution will be lying in between 1 by 3 and 3 so therefore we can say the y belongs to 1 upon 3 comma 3 closed interval that is range of the function f of y is nothing but range so range of the function is 1 upon 3 comma 3 closed interval which is option d we need to find the domain of the function f of x is equal to log 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 x and the basis are given 2 and 3 and 4 and we know that log x to the base a is defined when x is greater than 0 a is greater than 0 and a is not equals to 1 so here we can say that log of log x and here basis 3 and 4 must be positive to define this logarithm so this function is defined when log of log x and the basis are given here 3 and 4 must be greater than 0 and anyhow the base is not equal to 1 and it is positive so 2 so we will consider only this and again here this logarithm is defined this function is defined again or you can write here log x to the base 4 and log 3 here which is greater than log 1 to the base 3 because log 1 to any base is 0 so I need to consider the basis which is on the left side is 3 so I want to write here 3 and we have the inequalities log x to the base a is greater than log y to the base a which implies x is greater than y when a is greater than 1 
when a is less lies between 0 and 1 so we can say x is less than 1 x is less than y so here we can say that 3 is greater than 1 so the inequality holds which implies here log x to the base 4 which is less than sorry which is greater than 1 and again we can write here log x to the base 4 is greater than 1 we can write it as log 4 to the base 4 log a to the base a is 1 so here again the base is 4 which is greater than 1 and so we can say that x is greater than 4 so the domain of the function that is x is greater than 4 to infinity so we can go with an option b We need to find the range of the function f of x is equal to phi upon 3 minus x square. So before we find the range, let's find the domain of this function for what value of x this function is defined. So f of x is equal to phi upon 3 minus x square is defined when 3 minus x square is not equal to 0 that is x square is not equals to 3 so which implies that x is not equals to plus or minus root 3 so we can consider that the domain of the function is r minus of plus or minus root 3 now let us assume that let y is equal to f of x that is f phi minus phi upon 3 minus x square so which implies 3 minus x square of y is equal to 5 that is 3y minus x square y is equal to 5 so which implies here 3y three 3y three minus 5 is equal to x square y so which implies that 3y minus 5 upon y which can be taken as x square so x is equal to under root of 3y minus 5 upon y so for x is a real number for x is a real number except these two values so 3y minus 5 must be greater than 0 and y also or 3y minus 5 let us use this directly 3y minus 5 upon y is greater than or equals to 0 because the numerator can be equal to 0. So, by using the wavy curve, 3y minus 5 means we can write 5 by 3 and y is equal to 0. So, by using the wavy curve method, we can just consider since positive means we can go with minus infinity to 0 and 5 by 3 to infinity. So we can go in go with an option. This y value must belongs to minus infinity comma zero union phi by three to infinity. So phi by three is in the numerator can be included. So phi by three comma infinity. The denominator zero cannot be accepted. So numerator can be equal to zero. So phi by three is included and zero is excluded so the domain the range of this function is minus infinity comma zero union five by three to infinity which is option a so to find the domain of the function f of x is equal to one upon under root of x square minus three x plus two so basically this function is defined But the denominator not equal to 0 that is under root of x square minus 3x plus 2 is not equals to 0 and again we can also consider under the root 3x square minus 3x plus 2 must be greater than 0 or under the root greater than or equals to 0 but it cannot be equal to 0 so we can say x square minus 3x plus 2 greater than 0 is the condition so factorization We'll get x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 
that is x of x minus 2 minus 1 times of x minus 2 is greater than 0 that is x minus 1 into x minus 2 is greater than 0 so by using the wave curve we can say x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 so taking the curve from the right side since the powers are odd powers so it changes from positive to negative at 2 and negative to positive at 1 so and here we can see that the positive is from minus infinity to 1 and 2 to infinity so we can say x must belongs to minus infinity comma 1 union 2 to infinity that will be the domain of the function so we can go with an option b